All right, everyone, let's get back into Brigandine here. Let's do some more of this today. Uh, we have a lot more to go through with here, so let's get doing it. Let's get right to it. All right. Okay, so we have we have some things we're gonna have to like look at here. Let's just look at what we're trying to do here as far as what we're trying to accomplish. What I'm gonna end up probably doing is attacking with two teams through the north, uh, through the northwest, and then come down south, and we're gonna try to clear it like that, just with two teams. Hopefully, we can make it work that way. What do we got here? We've got. All right, team there, we're gonna work with this team here. We're gonna level up Shu Fen along with Grados and Rubino. If we can get Rubino to level 30, that'd be perfect. I don't know, we might, we might be able to get him up there, but other than that, um, we got this team coming over here and it's gonna do, just gonna do this here. We're gonna have this team come in, so we're gonna level up just these two teams, every other team is just going to get moved and displaced. If I have to do another attack with another team, then I will. Other than that, um, probably probably just going to have the two teams to just go in and do some work here. So this is the map. Let's get going. Let's do the attacks. Let's uh, try to level them all up. Turn five, I take over, and uh, I'm going to play from that on. So let's go ahead and do it. Hopefully this will turn out well for us. Hopefully. Rubino doesn't get himself killed against Rudo. <laughs> that is going to definitely suck if that were to, you know, if, if that were to be that way. We've got the Archer team going first. 20,000 points versus 12,000 points. I think we have a pretty good chance of winning here. Although, with an Archer crew, sometimes they could get a little bit... Uh, they could get a little bit over... They could overreach a little bit, so hopefully that won't happen. But this should be fun to see what happens with an all archer team. So whoever is kind of is kind of have the weakest front line. I'm gonna put in the front here. Uh, I think Yuri, so the other the other two can cover it. I hope that'll work out. Uh, we'll see. I like using her, you know, I know that, you know, there's definitely a lot of, you know, good knights out there and all that, but I do like using her. I'm a man, and I like to get dirty. <laughs> hey, Garrett, thanks for coming by. So, I mean, we could look at stats and all that. We can, like, go back and forth with it. It's 4 DB. Most of the archers, it seems like they're all kind of the same. I mean, there's some that are a little bit different. But I mean, you can see three EB. She's not the not the greatest with growth stats, but the fact that she's in the next class that actually does affect it. Um, she starts. Elena starts with like four DA, but now she's an E, and it's just because you get up to a certain tier, and then um, you you lose the growth rate because it's going to take longer to grow in that section there. But um, yeah. Set seven, more healers. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, we'll have to probably get some healers here. I've only got like two. I literally have two for this army. Oh my gosh. I got the angel and a... No, I've got three. Okay, we got three. We have some hairy fairy stuff going on here. All right, let's let's um, let's let it, uh, let it rip. <laughs> let's let it rip here. We'll see what happens. Hopefully my audio didn't go out. I have touched the microphone before and it, it, it tweaked the cord one time and then the audio was like all messed up. I couldn't tell until after the video was done. So if, as long as the audio sounds fine, set seven then we'll be good. Name me a healer. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Just remind me if I forget. Ah, oh, crap, there's, there's my healers right in the front lines. Just like that again, look at that. Nightmares going in the front lines again. You know, because they should, right? Oh no, oh no, oh no. And then they hide it, they, they hide behind. Come on, come on, get, oh, thank you. Here, let's slow this down so it doesn't look so weird. Oh, please don't go way out there. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. We got all our archers. We, we got our archers frontlining here. Holy word, right? Okay, thank, thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Okay, they're they're focusing on the healers here, which is. I know I don't I don't want them to focus on the healers, but what can I do? Whew, you know, got a miss there. Level 18. She's she's getting practice the hard way. She's gonna learn the hard way in the front line. Now this isn't something I recommend, but <laughs> this is something that's happening right now. No. Oh, the counterattack there. Look at that. Oh crap, the Divine Ray! Oh no! Oh, that, that, that might be it. No! Oh, they did that too! Oh! Oh, 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 we're getting away with murder here. Oh no, she doesn't have a bolt attack, does she? I hope not. Oh no, she probably does. Oh crap! Oh crap! No, 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 no! Uh, Yuri, you were doing so good right up until the bolt attack. I mean, you dodged attacks like a pro. Oh, man. That's the hard thing about this. This is a challenge. I'm taking over for turn five. And you see, you, you see the crappy play they could do right there. It could cost me the battle. Just like that. Just like that. Thousand arrows. So if there's people come by later on, they're like, "Oh, you're just, you're just, you're just getting it easy." No, <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> this is the stuff that happens <laughs> when you let the AI, when you watch AI play, and you just watch them play. That is what happens. Some leader gets a little too gr little too greedy, runs out to the front, thinks they're like super awesome, and maybe if there wasn't if there wasn't a thunderbolt, obviously she would have been fine. But she dodged like two or three attacks, right? How many of those were there? It's a good number of them. So we're gonna have to get another leader, put him over there, kind of pause the attack just to play some defense for a turn, just so that we can get the archers to keep running together. Because I'd, I'd rather. All the archers run together and try to work a team like that, see how it could work out, you know? So... Yeah, that's, uh... That's unfortunate. Look at that. They just keep screaming all day. Trying to get that extra little, little, little... point of damage there. So, okay, we are turn five. All right, so what are we gonna do here? Well, I'm not re I'm not retreating from the battle. If they gave me the option to retreat from the battle, I would just say no, anyways, because then they kind of forced me to take over. But um, this guy kind of pissed me off. <laughs> I kind of want to kill this thing. All right, we're in a we're in a terrible position here. I do not like my position, but there's not much that really can be had, you know, because we're just too close to the front lines, right? Not bad, not bad. All right, so now what do we got to do here? We got to do. Yep, let's try this. We're just gonna try to nuke their front line as much as we can so we can actually push some monsters into here. This guy's too strong not to do this. Pow! Oh yeah, just like that. Boom! Dead. Okay. 
Okay, we are we are a Yuri or a leader down, but so far so good. Oh yeah, and I can hit and run with you, can't I? Um Let's go. Okay, we'll go to the lake for one second here. Not not too big, not too big a deal. All right, protect. I think we're gonna do a protect for here. Get the dragon to go forward a little bit. I don't know, might as well, might as well use this little guy for something here. Now I could come out here and fully blast this whole thing, which I'm considering that, but I wanna see, oh, we really can't go anywhere with the dark dragon. I guess we'll just clamor over here. We're gonna do, gonna do this. We could get Divine Raid anyways, whatever happens, you know. They're probably going to be doing a lot of healing spells, though, let's be honest. Just considering it. Okay, let's skip all that, because it's going <laughs> to... That's going to last. <laughs> Alright. So, I don't want to block my Dark Dragon. Let's... let's. I, I don't want to block my Dark Dragon. Let's look at it like this here. Wait, I thought I had my... What happened here? Wait, why did the turn end? I never pressed... I never pressed end with that... Dragon. I did not press end. What? Was there an extra... Was there... Is there a, a button that ends that I don't know about? I did not press end on that dragon. Ah, dang it. Oh, well. Alright, let's just do this here. Give Carrot a healer, too. <laughs> yeah, I think Carrot might actually want that. Oh, geez, he rung his bell. Yes. <laughs> Alright, we'll get we'll get a couple healers here. Oh, I keep ringing my bell. I can't concentrate. You keep ringing that bell. Oh no! Ooh, that's dangerous. That is really dangerous. That thing is almost dead. Alright, do we have any healers nearby? Oh wait, they took away... Oh, that's right, they took away the healers, didn't they? Cripes. Okay, we're gonna need some... I can't even do protect. Well, I don't know. Let's do... Let's do that. No reason. Why not? Experience. 80 points there. Alright, we need to change our trajectory here, don't we? Isn't that what we gotta do? I think that's what we gotta do. Preparing giant chicken. <laughs> Do you see a lot of chicken there? Are you hungry? Or are are you actually making a chicken? I think you're making a chicken, Aldison. How's it going, man? Um I don't really have much I don't really have any healers left here. I I don't think I have a single heal spell left for this crew. A lot of chicken there, yeah? Yeah, I need 65 to heal and I only have I only have 62. Can you borrow me three extra magic points, Altison, so I could get a heal out of this nightmare here? And that's what we were talking about before. I think it was you, or was it uh, Abel we were talking about? This thing should be a nightmare. This should be a zebra with a unic unicorn horn on his head. It shows double black elements, right? But if we really look at it, it's half white and half black. 
right? We've got heals and cures and weaknesses and magic downs. This is like a half and half. You know, it's kind of like if you make coffee, but you put put half creamer in it. You know, it shouldn't be a nightmare because it it can cure and heal. You know, it's just a little a little bit like a unicorn and a little bit like a nightmare. You know, it should be like a zebra or a, a unimare or a nightcorn. But I think there was another word that we were talking about, right? Anyways, let's see what we can do with this team, which I don't really know where to put this guy. I don't know where to put the blue dragon, honestly. I'm trying to think about that. I don't know. Okay, we're all right. Well, he'll come up here. He'll go right here, and then we're gonna attack some chicken here. We're gonna get some chickens. Chickens taken care of. The chickens keep crying all day. It's getting annoying. Verily, verily annoying. Yes. All right, skill. What do we got? We don't have thousand arrows. We already kind of burned all that up. Let's see what other options we have. I want to shoot some leaders, but. Do we have Thousand Arrows with you right now? I don't even know if we have. Oh, she's gonna counterattack with that. Oh, no, no, no. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I want to see about this. Because you could actually shoot your own people in this game. I wonder if they'll shoot you back. <laughs> no, no, no. That's a terrible idea. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's not do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I'll test it out at some point, but not right now. Not right now. That would be horrible. That would be totally horrible. Level 6. Bring down the, the turkey. We're going to get some good chicken here, uh, Altison. Here, we'll get you a chicken sandwich. Nice little chicky sandwich there. Okay. We got that thing. You're, you're gonna have to defeather it yourself, though. I don't have the time or the patience. Ground flare, burn, burn. Ooh, that's a kill. That's not a kill, but that's a kill. I like that. Let's do that. We're gonna have some horse meat, so you know we're gonna help supply Burger King a little bit there. I don't know if you're a fan of Burger King, but I have heard that they do they do sell horse meat. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I've heard. Ah oh, crap, kill off my own thing. We don't want that. Giga impact, four range attack. Down to one hit point, you're kidding me. Okay, I'm just going to shoot down the centaur here because it's going to get annoying. Yeah, let's do that. Because I want to I wanna keep my snake and I'm going to put it in water to self-heal it. That's all I can do. That's literally all I can do. They do the Impossa Burger. So that probably comes from... That probably comes from horses, eh? Just, I'm just wondering. I'm a little curious, you know. I mean, I could be totally wrong, but that's what I've heard in the past. I think we've had this discussion multiple, multiple times. And I think some people have agreed with me, but I I don't know. Oh, look, just enough for one protect spell. Let's do it right there. Do they even tell you what's in the burgers? I bet they don't. I bet they don't even tell you what's in the burgers. It's like, surprise! Surprise meat. <laughs> Surprise me meat. They should have a slogan for that in the future for most for most burger companies. Surprise me meat. You know, you're just like, you don't know what's going to be in it. But it's a surprise. Yes. You know. <laughs> Mystery meat. <laughs> That's one reason why you go to the store and you don't go to the bargain area for meat. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. You could have worms in it. You don't want to have worms. Dogs get worms. We shouldn't be getting worms, you know? That's 500 times the estrogen found in menopause aid supplements? Holy cow. Holy cow, 500 times the estrogen. Well, as a guy, you know, probably don't want that. Probably not. I think that would cause some problems. Maybe a lot of problems. 
just speculating, but could be onto something here. If I am onto something, we're gonna learn something today. Right? I think so. Get a few of those burgers and grow some boobs! <laughs> I mean, if you're into doing that, okay, but not me. <laughs> no, no. I, I, I'm trying. I'm trying to do workout now. I'm trying to. I'm trying to lessen the amount of of cleavage I can show. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna get back into shape. It's gonna take me a while though. But yeah, I want less of that. <laughs> not more. <laughs> Why is it that some of the tastiest foods that we like have extra estrogen? Why, why burgers and so? Why would, why would they do that to us? You know, that's not what we want. We don't want that. No. It's soy. Oh yeah, the, all that soy stuff. That's true. The one thing I like that does have some soy in it, and, and I and I put it on some sandwiches is uh, is like Miracle Whip. But I think it's I think the reason I like Miracle Whip is because it's got eggs, it's got mustard, it's got vinegar in it. Yet they ban steroids. Oh uh, yeah, no, isn't that weird? They ban steroids. But I, I like Miracle Whip because it's got mustard, vinegar, and eggs in it. I love eggs. So that's like the one I think that's like the only soy thing I actually have in some of my food there. I don't know if I should have it, but like I make some I make sometimes I make some wraps instead of instead of sandwiches because I try to take away the uh, take away the bread apparently the bread like if you're on a keto diet you can't do that but um, you know we're gonna get some leaders some kills here just straight up straight up kills right in their face oh she's already level 30 never mind forget that Forget that. I don't need to level her up. We'll just we'll, we'll get somebody low, and then that that'll have to do it. Get yeah, they're just expensive. Keto's work. Yeah, I have a friend that went on a keto diet. Dude got, dude lost a hundred pounds. I, <laughs> I kid you not. He lost a hundred pounds. I was like, wow, you are, you were in shape. I never saw him in shape before. I actually never saw him in shape his whole life and he was kind of in shape and then he kind of kind of fell off the kind of fell off the wagon after after like a year but he's apparently they do work so so it's it's mostly meat it's staying away from carbs and stuff and uh, that's hard for me too because honestly I, I do like a beer and I could do rum and shots and stuff but then like my insides I don't feel very good after after a few times of that. I think it's a little too harsh, a little too hard on my on my system. But uh, I mean, it might be. Um, okay, he's got regain. Let's weaken this guy here. More suited for us as our ancestors favored it. Probably. I actually was gonna do, and I did this for a while on and off the paleo diet. I did the paleo diet a little bit more, so a little more of something like that. I wanted to try to eat more fish, you know, for, for stuff like that. And and I actually like that. But yeah, I, I like I like fish. I like fish fries. I love that sort of thing, but Hunter gatherer foods, yeah. I'm I'm more about like there's a lot of times that um, I I used to I used to have Wonder Bread and stuff like that all the time, make sandwich. A lot of times now I'll live more like a medieval person and I'll just have I'll just have slices of meat and cheese for for a meal, not even any bread. But sometimes if I do some wraps, I'm trying to do some wraps that are like corn tortilla stuff. Uh, with maybe a little bit of wheat because I, I still like a wheat beer like wheat beers I love wheat beers those are really good but um, you know if I could do something like fish or something I get more fish now and I, I try to put some greens in there too a lot of greens I mean I it, if I was back back in the day like I grew up 
with my dad watching like Popeye and stuff. But spinach, I actually, I like spinach. I like, you know, I like um, those kinds of greens and stuff. And I've, I even got this drink now that has all these super greens in it. And it's like Organa, it's Organifi, I think it's called. So I'm trying that out. So far it tastes all right. I had this other one beforehand I tried and it tasted terrible. I It just was hard to drink it. <laughs> like, it wasn't just... I don't know what was in it. It wasn't just the flavor. It was the smell or something like that. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying some of that too. So I'm trying a couple different things. But I'm going to try to get back in the shape I'm actually doing. I'm try Have you ever seen the push-up uh, exercise workout thing where you do 100 push-ups a day and you just keep doing that? I've seen people like actually get back into shape. And when I was younger, I did that combined with, with uh, push-ups, pull-ups, a lot of stuff like that. Um, I had a I had a barbell. I would just lay on the ground, pull it up from behind me, and start, you know, doing some reps with like I don't know, it was 150 or 180 at the time for weight or whatever. When I was like in my 20s, I'm gonna get I'm gonna try to get that again, you know. What? What I do know is strength training works. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying a few things. I'm I want to get back I into. Uh, to, into a system that that I used to be back into and it kind of worked, you know. It would be nice. It it would be nice to get back get back into full shape like I used to be. I, I used to be like a a big exerciser, what and I didn't really advertise it for my stream at all, or anything at all. I didn't really tell anybody what I used to do. What I used to do, but when I was a teenager, I'd bike every day. I'd bike up high hills, so I've got really thick muscles for legs. Yeah, I would go to the gym. I would do like a lot of strength training at the gym and stuff like that, and uh, martial arts. You know, taekwondo martial arts, sword training martial arts. I did a lot of exercise. And I get older, and I get older, and I got more weight. <laughs> I just forgot about all this stuff. It's like, no, I got, I got to do this again. I got to do this again. So I'm just only pro, only problem is like, I've had back, back and neck problems for a long time, and so, you know, now I'm not really doing a lot because of that. You know, there's, there's definitely times it just I can't do much, but. Uh, Diet, from what I've heard, is one of the main key things, honestly. It, a lot of people say it's like 90% diet. It's what you eat. It's it's just intake output, really. But then you could do strength training and that actually converts a lot of other stuff, too. You know, that, that'll that really get things going. But, yeah, I did a lot of exercise. You, you wouldn't believe how much exercise and stuff I could do. I'm... I was a lot stronger. <laughs> I was a lot stronger in my 20s. You know. A whole lot stronger. You have the habit of eating once a day? I'm trying to get to that too. And I've, I've, I've heard about that too. It's the intermittent fasting. That you just, you take all your calories at once. That the rest of the day you're, you're, you're burning it up. You think it's really bad? Oh man. I've heard that it was all right. At least there's one this one doctor I saw on, on this uh, thing saying it was a good thing. It's hard to do. Most of the time, I, would, I just eat twice a day. If if it's late at night, I need a snack. I'm trying to eat like less. Like I'll just have some uh, almonds or something like that. You know. Hmm. Body thinks it's starving and it stores as much energy as it can. Packs on the fat. Wow. Yeah, I don't. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna do what I used to do, and I was in pretty good shape back in the day. Yeah, I've, I've been maintaining an okay lifestyle, but it's it's not as healthy as it used to be, and I'm like I'm gonna get back into you know doing it the right way. A little bit of exercise here and there. You know, if I can't if I can't go biking, I usually do. I do a lot of walking lately. Like I, I do nature hikes. And I'll do walking for like an hour through some nature trails, go up and down hills and stuff. And if I do biking, that's usually like, you know, usually I do a lot of mountain biking stuff. 
I don't have like racing biking stuff. Just just, you know. But increments of vitamins and minerals through the day to stay stable. Yeah, and that's what I got with um I have some I have some vitamins, but I'm I'm trying this organic thing. It's an organic drink and there's a whole bunch of super stuff, it, it, super fruits and super foods in it. I think one of them is kale, one of them is some of this other stuff too. And so I'm just it's just a drink and you just pour a little you put a little a little uh like a little cup of however much you can fill into your cup and you drink it. And I drink one of it and I get it's really concentrated so I have to fill it twice and I just keep a stir straw in a cup. And I found out with some of these things too if you get one of these um if you get one of those things where you're getting the uh the superfoods and it's it's in a concentrated powder and you put it in a glass put them in a plastic glass don't put them in a normal glass glass put it in a plastic glass and throw it away because some of these things they'll stick to the glass even if you try to wash it and it'll have this green film on a glass it's so hard to get off might as well just throw the plastic thing away but all right, uh, shoe fence should go in the center here, and we're gonna put this around on that side. Uh, had a, two bananas a day at least. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. I can't eat bananas. I really, I don't know why. I could have a banana once in a while. I don't know if it's I had too many when I was younger, or when I was living down in Florida, I had too many. I don't know what it is, but I can't. I can't have the. Uh, I could do kiwis and stuff. There's other fruits I can do, but not bananas, not for me. I don't know why, but my stomach gets upset if I have bananas. I don't know what it is. Convenient. And you need the potassium? Oh, okay, man. Yeah. Like some people, they can't do pineapples and stuff. I love pineapples. I can do pineapples like all day. I can do pineapples all day, but some people can't do that. You know, I'm totally fine with pineapple. You know, especially with the alkaline level that that the pineapple is. It's, it's, it's a, that's a really good food for you. Like, and another thing I do lately. Even with, with, if I have a soda or if I have a beer, you put a little lime in the beer. And uh, lime, lemons, that sort of stuff, it actually detoxes your liver. <laughs> so it actually kind of works with the beer. It, it's it's funny, but it, it actually does work. Okay, hopefully we can get a good win here. I don't know, everybody. We've got Rubino here, and we're up against Rudo. Let's give this a try. This is going to be a heck of a fight. We get a Lich in front. Lich might die instantaneously against against Rudo. Because <laughs> Rudo's got that clean military rule. He can just come up and boom! It's got a, almost a 300 power score to it. And he doesn't have to pre-move it. Up your stomach's pH. I think it, it could be my... That pH, yeah. I just hope, I just hope he doesn't kill Rubino in one try. I'm going to be kind of pissed. Go after the snake or something. I don't care. It's somebody else other than Ru Hi. Rubino. <laughs> what are they doing with their castle? They're... Oh, Rudo's going to go into castle? Okay, I hope he does. I hope he goes into castle and he doesn't come off. Grados, don't don't you fuck around in the back, dude. Get up there. Get up there. Take that clean military rule for me, Rudo. Grados. <laughs> no. Oh, he's gonna kill! He's he's gonna kill me, isn't he? Please don't! Please don't! No, he's not gonna kill me. He's not gonna kill me. Not gonna kill me. Not gonna kill me. Don't don't you don't you go that far, dude. Oh. This is gonna be rough, isn't it? This is gonna be rough, isn't it? I hope it's not. I hope I'm wrong. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, what other foods do you like to have besides, you know, besides bananas? 
Oh, come on, Grados. Why are you so far behind? Everybody else is in front of you. Even Rubino, to some degree. Okay, he's just ending his turn. Doing whatever. Okay. I think we're gonna lose. I think we're gonna lose that. Fixing bad habits. I know what you mean, man. I know what you mean. Oh, don't, 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 don't die, Rubino, right now. Don't, don't die, don't die, don't die. Slipping is good and dying. That is, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Okay, that's okay. He's blocked. He's blocked. I'm okay with that. <laughs> At least a little bit. Hopefully something will... I was hoping the snake would be in the water here. You know, that kind of makes sense. But yeah, man, a lot of time it is just you gotta fix some bad habits and stuff. You know, you get you just get used to just stuff. You're like, oh, it's convenient. Oh, McDonald's is like a quarter mile away. I'll just go get a I'll just go get a quarter pounder. Call it a day. You know, it's so used to convenience. You know, but half the time the convenience is never never really convenient for you long term. You know. <laughs> Well, there's, there's times, yeah, I go out and i just like, ah, oh, it's not too far away, I'll just go get a quarter pounder and boom, done. You know? Okay, thanks, Gratis, for going to the front lines, man. I needed that. I needed that so badly. Okay, after this, I'm resurrecting something. That lich can resurrect monsters, you know? We're gonna need it, too. At least your fire keeps burning. What? What I found that works for me is having some flexibility if you want to lose weight. Eat a little bit less for a bit. Your body starts getting into starvation mode. Eat a little more for a bit and get out of that mode. Yeah. That could be a good idea. Man, look at all the the pound for pressure the damage they're gonna give to my team. Oh, it's gonna to be tough. It's tough to pull off a win here. He's he's got some of his best troops here. You have to force kindle your embers. Yeah. I don't know, sometimes it's I also wonder too, like I wonder how low I can get because there's times that I get there's there's times I get so low from not eating that I'll start getting shaky and getting headaches. So I I haven't done it too much lately, but in the past I I I've been to that point. It's like I pushed a little too hard, you know. So I I can't go too far. It seems. Oh, please, let's kill off this white dragon here. This thing, these things annoy the heck out of me. I just fight all these white dragons all day. I never know why they heal up the leader on the castle. He's gonna get a castle heal anyways. You know? It's like, logically speaking, is he gonna get a castle? Yes. Let's not heal him, let's heal something else. Okay, turn five. I'm taking over. This this stuff. We lost our blue elemental, which I didn't want to, but we did, you know? So, hurry this up. All this extra regain they get. It's ridiculous. <laughs> regain, 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 regain. What is this? Another one? Oh, man. Let's kill that thing. Yeah, let's kill that thing. Can we do it with Holy Word? I think we probably can. I'm gonna get him... Oh, this will be beautiful. You're gonna love this. Normally I go 20 to 30 hours between meals. Wow. 
Wow. It is in these hills that Juan Valdez and his trusty goat gather coffee beans every morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Necro rebirth. What? I will take your thing and use it against you. <laughs> I guarantee it. What you gonna do, brother, when Veracity Trigger runs wild on you? Hmm. I should go after him, maybe. Wait on Black. You know, works out pretty good. Can't push me back from here. Uh. What I try to do is to make it a priority to eat and drink as soon as I wake up. Get my body started. It doesn't have to meal. Some crackers or a piece of fruit is good enough. That's a good idea, actually. That's a good idea. You know how in the past they always told you that, like, it was always government recommended this and that. You know, usually government recommended stuff is never the greatest. You know, have three big meals a day. You know, full breakfast, full lunch, full dinner. I'm just like, that is way too much. When I was younger, in my 20s, I could burn all that off. But when you get in your 30s, you're going in your 40s and all that, you don't, your metabolism doesn't, doesn't burn all that up. You don't, you can't, I mean, if, you know, I got a kid, she can eat as, as much as she wants, but she's, she's growing, you know, <laughs> like I'm not growing anymore. I'm just maintaining. This is, right at this point, you're just maintaining, you know. You're just, you're just doing maintenance at this point. Giant Punisher, take that. <clears throat> Trying to do that with the banana, yeah. Guess if you could do that, you know, it could work. It could work that way. Alright, so who do we have to heal here? Let's 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 double check this. I think I think we're gonna have a couple heals left over, which is nice. Get this guy healed up there. And uh, we're gonna do a divine ray. We're gonna kill this thing off. It's going to be totally toasted here. Let's see, I'm on the lake, so he has to attack me on a lake. Plus, I'm flying. It's 56% chance. Ooh, that's risky. I think we'll do the Divine Ray first. We'll go like this. Okay, Judgment is just one space. I keep thinking Judgment is the same thing as Divine Ray. It's not. Divine Ray. Uh, three big meals works if you're a bodybuilder or a vegan, but not a normal person. Really? So that's kind of that's kind of um, what the point of it is. Okay, 800 to 1100 dinner, hold you through the night, get a snack in. Hey Solomon, how's it going? Hey, welcome back to the. Uh, well, maybe this is your first time here, but um, big meal will be 1200 plus calories. Okay, calories. Okay, cool. All right, so I think Solomon, you were asking before, like how to play or strategize this game a little better. So I'm going to show you here, uh, kind of certain things you can do. But I am playing for challenge mode, so I'm playing just turn five, and after that, but I let them take over for turn one and beyond. Uh, we're up against a really, really tough team right here. This is Rudo here with Thunderbolt, double Holy Words. They had a couple holy dragons, but we just killed him off. Now he just did his clean military rule there. Which, thank the Brigadine God, he didn't do on Rubino, because they did weaken Rubino. <laughs> so, we got away with a little bit of something, but he did just... That's what sucks about Bruto. He'll just insta-kill your guys. Like, I've seen him do 600 plus points of damage on, on Dark Elemental things. I've seen it. He's, uh, he's a killer. Uh, tell you that Shinobi's Runites at the start seem very underwhelming. Shinobi's? Yeah, the beginning is a little bit... Little, you can be a little cautious about that. Look at that, I'm attack defense down. Come on. That sucks. Do I have a spell break here? Nope, I don't. I, I gotta do a weakness on... I gotta do weakness on him even though he's out. It just make things, my life, so much easier. But I need a spell break. I think she'll have... 
So this is another thing too, Solomon. And everybody else is watching this game. Uh, and it, and at first they didn't do it too much, but now they're doing this more often. I think the AI is getting a little bit better. You're gonna need to keep spell break. So I run around with at least a mermaid level, maybe not always a siren, but just a mermaid spell level, just to have this, just so that in case they weaken me, I can do spell break and come out of it. The weakness seems to just last for like three turns now, but still that's like a long time. So I'm gonna spell break him out of this so he's not so weak. This guy's like too close to the front line. I don't think I can heal him any better than this. Um, I'd like him to stay here, but I'm gonna pull him back. I'm gonna put, so here's a, here's a strategic thing what I'm gonna do, uh, Solomon is, the snake's healing the water, right? And you should probably know. So I'm gonna try to pull him out of danger, out of a divine ray, holy word, super attack move, and just get him in the water, just so that he can like self heal for a bit. And I'm gonna do a splash attack from the back here, hit their back line, if I have some splash, which I do have some splash effect left. So I'm gonna do, so splash attack is one, two, three, four, or five for the blue snake. So I'm gonna go right up here. I'm gonna wait a turn, heal up, and then do a splash attack from there, just to hit their back line. Right here, we're gonna probably concentrate on some heals or loop heals. We could try to go for some divine rays, but they're a little too far away. Uh, so we're just gonna focus on healing up our front line, making sure that that is good to go. Um, but from what I can see here, I've got a healer here, here, and here. And Rubino's close to leveled up. So what I'm gonna do first Put a loop heal on Rubino. We're gonna break that spell, that weakness spell on him next turn next turn we get to go. And we're gonna have these other guys just do heals on everybody else. So this is the hardest setting. This is on hard mode, on custom hard mode. Um, I played it for years, I kinda know kinda know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, in this game in particular. But um, yeah, we're just going to uh, do the best we can with this. And I need some more Discord. healers over here. So so another thing that you, that you can do... Oh, thanks thanks for that, Altison. Another thing you can do here too is if you don't know, if you got nothing to do with your heals back here, and this is what I even have to tell Paul sometimes, it's funny as hell. Like, dude, you could reposition your, knight, your unicorns for heals, you know? And uh, he's like, oh yeah, I could do that. So... If, you're, if your healers are out of range of healing, because healing's only three spaces, just bring them up closer. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Sometimes some things are just as simple as that, you know? Just bring them in closer. So I've got a regain on, and I'm... So here's the thing. If I could do a spell, it would be better than doing an attack, because my attack and defense is down, right? So it's in the red. They did a, a weakness on me. But my magic is still good, and with Rubino... I can do a spell instead. I could do Fallberg, burn the whole thing up, hurt them like crazy. This is a level 11 Phoenix. This could be a good idea, but it's down to 1 HP. Something else could probably take it out. I'd probably do a Breath Attack with some other guys and uh, finish the job. So I think I'll probably just go for a Frost, be a little conservative with my magic here, try to get the Phoenix low enough, see if we got something else to kill off Phoenix later on. I could probably do two breath attacks or something like that. I've also got a mage and all that. But, um, yeah, here's, here's what we're going to do. We've got, and this is a revived dragon that I got from them because I have a, I've got a lich, so this does necro rebirth, so I, I revive their own dragon. So if I hurt their dragon, I really don't care. <laughs> so we can just go ahead and do breath attack through. He'll be down to 30 points. We could try something else after that, you know. Um, but yeah, this is all this is all in the hardest mode you can do. Um, I don't really need to level him up. I could level up her. I could level up Shu Fen. So now I've got a thunder spell that can work here. And bye bye, level eleven. Goodbye. And it's gone. So I could have done a frost spell with the mermaid. Yes. But I'm leveling her up. This is on XP times two, so this makes the cross-classing a lot harder to do. So that's a, another part of the challenge that I'm actually doing to challenge myself as well. 
Um, so we have magic, we have spell break, and uh, we're going to take that off of him. So. Unfortunately, it also seems to take off other things as well, but yeah. Um, but welcome, Solomon. And she still had magic to kill it off, so I couldn't even do that. But that's that's what happens. You lose monsters in this game. You can definitely lose them. I was thinking she was probably going to do Thunder Spell on Rubino, but nope. She went after the, the dragon and killed it off. And that was what happened there. So I had Gumbel Republic and now I'm aiming for the Shinobi tribe next. Shinobi's tough, but the fact is you could go in there without like four or five phoenixes and you will lay waste to Shinobi so easy. Shinobi's so easy to take down with four or five phoenixes. It's, it's almost comical. I could just let the AI do it and they'll just go flame, 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 flame. Toby's done in like three hits. That's that's as much as it probably takes to take him out. He's 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 kind of weak to that, and so is everybody else because you can't dodge a flame spell, and most of them are green, so they, you know, they're weak to that stuff. All right, so let's go here. Uh, should we do a heal spell? Maybe we should do a heal spell. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of things that can happen in this game too. You could lose monsters. You know, you got you got to be you have to be willing to do it sometimes. Sometimes you don't want to and then sometimes it happens. This game, I seem to lose more monsters in this game than I do in Grand Edition. <laughs> Just because some of the the this, the power of some some attacks like Rudo's attack, he just he'll just almost kill a guy anyways. I just have to like accept it. It's just a part of life at this point. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's probably gonna happen. What can I do? But um, all right, he doesn't have a lot left. Let's go. Let's get this dragon and get this a little bit lower. After that, the pirates. We're almost one of my favorites, and I, I, I they're one of my favorites because you got a lot of diversity of like orbs. It's hard to pin down which kind of orb to go in there with. Typically, you go in with greens and greens and blues, or yeah, green, greens and blues is one of the best ways to go in there. Was with monsters that have got green and blue orbs, but even then, it's still hard because you're we're working with a lot of water terrain, you know. What were you saying, Hero? Here, I, uh, I was talking with Solomon about all this, and then when you cut out meat and dairy I started to have to eat more full plate sized meals throughout the day maintain the weight yeah and that's another thing too I was trying to do some of the vegetarian stuff for a while that got hard that got really hard to do I don't know if I can do a full vegetarian thing if if anything I'd be doing something like paleo or I'd be doing something like keto for a diet but that's like all I could really that's all I could really um probably think of let's see here yeah phoenixes phoenixes for this game I have to say one of the best things in the game even if you're going after like Rubino or you're going after Morelva yes it can get cut down because they're kind of weak to the blue and all that but the, the versatility of healing self healing flying airy heal Flame spell. You can't go wrong with it. You really can't. It's so good. It's just so good. Like, I, I try to get a Phoenix on almost every team you can. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. Try to do it. It's kind of hard to to start because, you know, they're kind of weak. Well, they're, they're, they're kind of middle of the road, but as soon as you get them up to the next Phoenix class, it's like, pff, here we go, you know? <laughs> Anything kind of. Anything kind of um, green is just too squishy. It'll die super fast. Should I do magic down on Ru? What do I got for magic left with her? I don't. I think we got a bolt attack. 
I'm probably gonna have to pump some damage into him, although he's got all these freaking healers. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to do a magic down so I can concentrate some magic spells, because Rudo is gonna come over here. You know he's gonna he's gonna come over here after my after my siren. And I also gotta worry about heals, but let's go for this. So sometimes like if there's a ruler out here and they're really tough to deal with, they got all this crazy stuff on them. I'm gonna make him weak to something. So he's magic's down, I'm gonna hit him with frost spell, I'm gonna hit him with thunder spell. You know, we're, we're gonna see what we can do to take him down. So he gets a little bit closer, he's gonna get more screwed as the time goes on. Because I do have magic with Rubino as well. And I got magic with the frost spell, and I got magic with the thunder spell. And he ran away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. Hate salad? Yeah, I can't do salads. I cannot do salads. Unless it's got chicken in it. <laughs> or turkey. I don't mind turkey. I don't know. I don't even like salads with bacon in it. I can only do bacon for breakfast. I can't do bacon for salads. And, and here in Wisconsin at one point, they had, they, had, um, they had bacon bits in ice cream. I was like, are you kidding me? That's not going to taste any good. I hate soggy bacon. In an ice cream, it's going to be soggy. I don't like soggy bacon. I like it when it's nice and crunchy. You know? I like it when it's nice and crunchy. <laughs> not saying I have a lot of bacon, but if I if I did get that, I was like, the crispiness. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, prefer cooked vegan food? Cooked stuff is, yeah, it's definitely the best. Do veggies not give as much calorie intake compared to meat? Now, I've heard that certain veggies do give more uh, iron compared to me like um, like black beans now not everybody likes black beans but I can eat black beans in a taco or something like that instead of the meat or whatever I like black beans and uh, I think that has more iron in it than uh, a meat uh, like a burger would have I think black beans and certain beans would, um, or legumes would have more iron in it that's what I've seen other people say so yeah, you could have you could have beans instead of meat, and you'll be just fine. Actually, I think some people lead you to believe that you you have to eat all these different foods when that's not always true. You know, there are alternates. Um, but um, other people say you also need to have a, a certain amount of salt in your diet. I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe it is. I mean, if it's not a natural, like reoccurring thing. I don't know, but I really don't know about the Saul thing. That's what they that's what they keep saying though. But um uh, it's the protein you need as much protein as you eat so it's turned into fat, yeah. If not the vegans might ha have to eat as twice as much veggies to make their calorie intake. Yeah, and so if you're more of a vegan, you're supposed to have a, a certain amount of nuts and beans. Uh, and stuff like that that gives you a lot of protein you know you need salt just the right amount okay yeah you need a certain amount oh my gosh it's gonna be hard to take these guys down I just weakened him so he ran away this guy stayed here this is where it gets tough in the game too cuz you're like well I just had plans to do this and now you totally screwed over my plans right yeah <laughs> You screwed my plans up. Oh, I can't. I can't do what I wanted to do. But this guy, this guy could take the fall. We could, we could smash him pretty hard. So I could make him weak. We could go for. I don't know, something here. I think Rados could come in and do some damage too. We got a divine ray, maybe. No, we don't got divine rays. But for all, I, spells, I think are going to work better on a paladin because paladin is shield block. So I think we'll do the same trick. Here we'll do magic down. Oh, sorry, I hit the wrong button. Magic down. You know, magic power resist down. Sometimes you have to like try to do some of these things because it's one of the only ways. All right, we'll get the loop heal back on. Apparently, 
I think this is a, a, a flaw in a game. I don't think spell break should take away my heals. I don't think it should, but it, it that, that's what happened. You know, that's kind of what happened right here. Yeah. So I'm going to do another loop heal. You don't need a spell break this time. I think it's an oversight of the game developers because, like, they wouldn't really do that much in the past. All right, we're going to do some more magic. We're going to do another frost here. I'd like to hit her, but... This guy's gotta go. They all kinda gotta go. It's protein. Yeah. If not, then the vegans might have to eat it twice. Yeah. Vegans have to eat more meals, yeah. You gotta eat a lot. And I had a friend that was like doing full vegan stuff for a while, and he... He was eating... Yeah, it seemed like he was he was really eating like three three meals a day, you know. Uh, okay, I don't know if it's wise to come up here and do this, but I'm gonna try this here. Here, let's look at the turn order first because we need to kind of know what's going on here. So Iona's going after that. She could. She's got no magic left. She's C team. She doesn't have a heal with that. And really what it comes down to strategy games too, uh, Solomon is just checking what's going to happen, who's going next. If you're playing Grand Edition, you have to just look at the levels and hopefully nobody's the same level because it just kind of randomly spitfires out who's going to go next. But she's going to go next and C-Team and all that's left to C-Team is this. There's no breath attack there. He can't come out hit Rubino. Rubino's still technically safe for one more turn. And then Grados goes and then Grados can walk up here and like kind of block and do some attacks and stuff which would be good for us but C team right now is really not much of a threat I don't have to worry about her so I'm just not going to um, we're gonna come up here we're gonna this thing has one heal left so I'm gonna go and disturb it a little bit maybe it'll heal itself which would be great you know Egg yolks have the most nutrients, and, and you know what the thing is? In the past, they would always tell you stuff like, "Oh, you know, have fat-free stuff, and 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 just have the egg." And and maybe depending upon certain people's cholesterol and all that, maybe they did. But um, the whole egg, the the fat and the food, like all that's just very healthy for you. You know, it's so like diet soda has aspartame in it. Doesn't have uh, the natural sugars doesn't have like the actual stuff your body kind of needs and like I even try to tell my I, I, I try to tell my uh, one of my one of my relatives I'm like it's really not that healthy for you the the normal soda might be a little healthier than the, the diet soda he's like well I've been drinking it for a long time I'm like I can't stand that stuff I cannot stand diet soda I don't think that's healthy in any way. I think she's gonna book it. I don't think she's gonna stay. She's gonna she's gonna get crushed there if she stays. Oh, you're gonna run away? Okay. <laughs> We're playing a chasing game here. We are playing that chasing game, aren't we? Yeah, I got no heals left. I was just come in here and do what I gotta do. This guy's near death. This thing's not gonna rebirth anyways. It's not gonna matter if it dies. It's already dead. It's already dead. <laughs> Oh my gosh, he shield blocked three times in a row? That is a lot. Dude, that is a lot of shield black. Can I get my big guy over there? No, I don't think I can. Let's go here, let's punch this dragon. Or this angel, you know, I'll freaking kill the dragon. We'll kill the angels off. The angels are gonna be annoying later on anyways, aren't they? All right, when is Rudo, or when is or being or this dude go okay he's going soon is he gonna get a heal probably probably gonna get a heal can I kill him before he gets that heal I don't think I even have an ability to do anything 
Necro Scream that's two spaces away. That's not going to work for me there. I'd be shield blocks everything all day. That's the, that's not good for me. Okay, well let's just let's just focus on this guy because I can't kill I can't kill the bigger one anyways. healed himself, that jerk. Okay, I think we need another loop heal somewhere. On the big guy, maybe? I think the big guy might need a loop heal there. So I don't have to heal him up anymore. Hmm. So I like crispy whites for my eggs and my hair tick? <laughs> Maybe you are. <laughs> I don't know why else to send. <laughs> I just want my to limit the cholesterol. Egg whites are actually low in cholesterol, but eggs are yeah. For morals, I prefer vegetarian diets over vegan diets. Because vegetarian diets promote the life of the animals. Vegan diets are promoting freedom. The answer is that we can just release all the animals in there. They'll be free and happy. That's very true. That's very true. You can't just here you go, run wild in the in the the free open air and then you know some wild animal eats them yeah it, it might not work out all that great skill supreme impact ooh this might get him close to oh if we can get one more hit on him unfortunately I don't have any I don't have any really good things to hit him with to be honest should I push should I push him back on a castle here no, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't help anybody, would it? Should I push her around? Just keep kicking her all over the place? I kind of want to do it like that. Just have fun. Just kick, kick, kicking away. <laughs> See, that's another thing. I could kick her around. I could kick her so far away from her monsters. Her monsters are out of the blue. Because, like, this guy here... He's just on the edge. If I kick her one more space over... It, it'll be out of the blue. Then again, I also want to hit this guy too, because I could get Supreme Impact to maybe work and only getting 70 points of damage if I even get that. I'm going to hurt myself more than he's going to hurt me, because you see right here also, Solomon, they make the game pretty easy in the sense, because you look at the power score there on the top right, it was 155, now it's 199. That's the actual attack that you're going to do if it's not a crit. So I'm only going to do 70, 72 points of damage and. In, in, um, Kyle is going to do 199 points of damage. At first, I thought that was just a power score, but that's actually like the actual hit point damage. I was like, "Wow, I can't believe they actually showed me that." <laughs> so, the, so the game's actually a lot easier than Grand Edition was. <laughs> okay, that this is a little foolish. I don't think we should do this. Let's just go kick her away, and then maybe they'll they'll change their mind as far as who they heal up and all that. Because he might heal her, because she's super low, and I could send something out to finish her off, you know? Nah, I really can't do that there. Can I do a magic spell, please? <laughs> a resist? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> How's it going to help me now? <laughs> Supreme Impact. 100%. 240. He's doing... What is he doing to me? Not as much. Still, still gonna hurt though. You're kidding me! He defense shield everything, everything I threw at him. He defense shielded it. That is unbelievable. This dude is like ridiculously strong here. Oh, 
You gotta stop doing that, bro. That's a little too much. That is a little too much. I'm out of magic. I'm totally out of magic. I, I can't even... <laughs> I can't do anything to that. That's not gonna work. They really want to hold this castle down hard, don't they? Well, what, what do you what do you know about that, huh? Isn't that awesome? Look at that! Look at that! I get to have the castle now. Oops! <laughs> Your only kick away thing I just killed. <laughs> More healers! Holy break. Well, bam! 100%. Let's do it, Granos. Let us do this today! Yes! Oh, with a crit and a kill! Ooh, ooh. Goodbye, Kyle. Get the fudge out of here, bro. You suck. Granos is the guy. He's the man of the plan. He's the man with the plan. Alright, let's get let's get this Phoenix up a, a little bit higher. You're gonna you're gonna love this. We lost some monsters, but we're gonna have a nice, nice, cool, juicy phoenix on our team. It's gonna be great. Can I kill some angels along the way? With my lich. My lichy lich lich. 92. That's pretty good damage right there. Let's kapow! Bam! Boom! Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Okay, I don't even care about Bruto right now. I'm just gonna vote. I'm just gonna finish off his monsters. Oh, he didn't like that. <laughs> he does not like that. He's like, this is boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you suck, dude. <laughs> That's what happened. You totally sucked. We destroyed your army, bro. Okay, Rubino's gonna get another level here. Yes. Sorry, Iona. But we gotta get our levels. As soon as he le as soon as Ruto left that castle open for one position, I'm like, I'm in. I'm in like Flynn. I've got a giant guide standing right there. I can go stand in the castle. The thing is, in this game, Solomon, and maybe you know this, but if you're the aggressor attacking a castle and you stand on the castle at turn twelve, you win that castle because you have the castle. So He'd have to find a way to either kill off my, my golem on his castle or kill off my leader. <laughs> One of the two. But he he wasn't gonna be able to do it all. Especially after that. Oh my gosh. That's a tough those are tough fights though, because uh, Rudo can have like some really good stuff. Just drain your monsters, drain your drain your supply, all this and that. Rulers usually have a lot of good stuff with their teams. So we lost lost a giant snake, we lost a lizard man, we lost an elemental, and we lost a possible level 10 golem there, but as you can see we did crush a lot of stuff. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We didn't get the angels, we'll get them next time, but pretty successful battle overall. Pretty successful, so I I'd have to say it was pretty good. Ooh. Another thing is here too. Let, let me press this real fast. So in case Solomon doesn't know, but Solomon, I'm gonna draw on a screen here real quick, so just look at this. I know that she failed, you know, Ju failed the quest there, but this little this little gold knight helmet symbol right there. We got an extra knight, so that came so she failed the quest, but we still ended up getting an extra knight. It doesn't happen in Grand Edition like that, but it does happen here. So, you know, we did get an extra knight. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. We'll see what else we got here. Got a whole bunch of stuff. And all these things, based upon the stars, based upon their level, there's only three levels. The third tier level is the best. Second's pretty good. And the first tier level is just general equipment. And you go from gold to purple to, to white, coloring on their letters. And that's pretty much what it's about. 
And there are some really rare pieces of gear to get that are really, really interesting to have. All right. Um, Serve rest, but yeah. Who is this guy? Ooh, Alejandro. There we go. Get Alejandro on our team. <laughs> Stamp of Platinum! <laughs> Yeah, if we're gonna talk about diets and stuff, is there any is there any diet? Has anybody tried like a pure meat diet? You know, I know the keto diet, I think you can do that, but just like steaks every day and steak and eggs or something like that. Anybody ever really fully tried it? I've I've learned though that your body wants to dissolve the sugars first, so like, usually the the sugars, then the carbs, then the fats. I don't know if I could do an all meat diet. Might be a little bit. Might be a little much. The weapon he has looks cool, but to use that in battle, if if you got hit a little bit, the blade would just like turn like this. I don't I don't think that would be like a really functional weapon. I don't think that'd be a functional weapon in battle. Because if someone hits it at the side, the whole thing tilts sideways and you could actually hurt yourself that way. You might need more like a tonfa base where it's got like, you know, a T section there to hold on to it. It's more of a gladiator weapon. I guess so. Yeah, you 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 need you need a T section where you could hold it with your with your uh, two fingers like this, so you could ha have kind of a grip on it, where it wouldn't like turn backwards towards you, <laughs> or a away from you, or something like that. Okay, so. <laughs> this took me a perfect tool. Perfect fool. Alright, so we got this guy on our team. Good stuff. We're just gonna really end up questing him, because most of these new knights I get now, I don't even... I, I don't have the time to, like, even try to level them up, honestly. I, I really don't. Oh, and here another quick thing is, just press the triangle button or the top button at each castle. It's faster than clicking all the other things if you want to go right into the castle and do stuff. Just saying, a little bit, a little bit quicker here. All right. So, thing is, I've I've made a note about this for uh, a video on YouTube. If you want to check it out, you can. Some of you already have. But um, as far as like the classing up goes, Phoenix or the Simurgh, the Simurgh should have like a ranged wing attack, like the Holy Griffins used to. Otherwise, for me personally, I never, I never, I never make these things. It just just because it attacks things in a mountain a little bit stronger has a little more strength and one more mobility for me it's it's not I don't know Phoenix comes with a lot of extra goodies like if we're looking at I mean yeah I could do a sonic war and all that but like it has no magic spells it's like just dominating mountain stuff I'd rather have a self heal something that could keep itself alive I just go Phoenix all the time Unless a Simurgh had like a free range wing attack, I, then I'd probably pick it, like like how they used to have. But Phoenixes are great. They're one of the best, one of the best things to have in a game. Whether you like to do area heal or flame, it doesn't matter. They're still one of the best ones to have. I personally like to do some flame attacks or, and some, and, I mean area heal attacks, because you know why not? Why not get what you can out of it? This guy is a ranger, so we're gonna. Probably quest them out somewhere. Um, what do we got? Do we have? 
All right, let's organize a little bit here. If we have a revival stone, we'll get some stuff back. <laughs> I don't know if we do, though. All right. What is that, 35 for that there? It's almost there. Okay, 140. Two hundred and fifty-eight. Two hundred fifty-eight. Well said, Seven. Guess what? We're going to get more healers. <laughs> two hundred fifty-eight. So that's one, two. That'd be two hundred fifty-eight. I can get three healers. Three healers. Can you believe that, Set Seven? Your wish, your wish is granted. Look at that. Three healers, two. Two wyverns, bam, just like that. Look at that. Get three healers for Rubino. And he he already has nightmare. <laughs> so he's already got like more than he he's got more than he could even use. This is gonna be This is a dream come true, hey? Dream come true right there, bam. I get two wyverns. Alright, do it Oh, we do have a revival stone. Let's see what we could revive here. We could get we could get all right. Let's stock this up. Maybe I'll take a, maybe I'll take a big swimmer here. I kind of want my, I kind of want my snake back because I'm, kind of, kind of pissed they killed that Stamp thing. Stamp a platinum. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's always stamp a platinum in this. Dude, look at that. 138. Let's get let's get something back. Let's get something back that we've been missing out on for quite some time. I don't know. It could be this blue snake here. It's level 16. What do we need? 140 points? I think we'll definitely get whatever we want back. You know? Is it late enough to start drinking? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> nah, usually I go at about 9 o'clock or so, but it's only when I'm kind of thirsty enough for it. But, um, ooh! We have a level 12. Oh, that's right. We have a Fenrir here. I almost want to get that back. It's this level 20 Hellhound, but you class it right up to the Fenrir. About this level, level 15 Sea Serpent here. And I lost this thing. That's a beauty about this game. You can get stuff back whenever you want to. It makes, makes it a little easier. Sometimes some people might say it's a little too easy, but I don't really go. I, I don't really go for a lot of, um, oh my gosh, it's level 18. I think we should probably break that one back. Plus, if it's Man of Miracle, we probably really need to. We have a whole lot of dead things we can bring back. We can accrue all kinds of stuff here. Oh, my, my level 26 Thunder Dragon. I kind of need that. <laughs> I kind of need that going forward, don't I? Let's get that big... Let's get this bad boy back in here. I hated losing this, but I really did. Get the baddest. Alright, well, next time we'll get the snake. But I kind of want to get my dragon back because I, I got it up to level 26, you know? Alright, now all healers and a dragon. <laughs> Rubino should be fine. <laughs> he should be totally fine. I don't think... it. it if he dies, I will be aghast. I, I, I will be amazed. Wisdom Helm or this one. Well, this is magic resistance, so this would be... And MP. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with that. We got the Durandal there. What do we got for you? What do we got for you? We got Icy Blades. Wait, do we have an extra here? Oh, Pick has the Swift Medallion. You know what? We're not using Pick right now. So we'll just steal it from him. I know. I know. I'm stealing it from Pick, but whatever. We're, we're getting good stuff here. Cursed Vestment. Do I need... Well, we're, now, here's, here's another thing. If you're new to this game and you're playing it, whatever you're going against, if you're going against Rudo and a lot of white things, don't put on black defense, even if it's a, a gold-tier gear. It's just going to make you weaker. 
because you're putting on black defense and their white offense. They're gonna go and just kill you. It's it it's gonna it's gonna be bad. Now blue defense, they don't have a lot of they don't have a lot of greens on their team. I mean, they do have like one, one thunder thing here and there, but not not too bad. All right, we're gonna armor this guy up a little bit too, because why not? Why not? Is Hero Breaker's Brace is better? No, not for him. I'd rather have him, like... I, I'd rather have him have more defense, because he's just doing spells most most of the day. That's all he's really doing. Now, the Phoenix, we have to try to armor this thing up, because I do not want this thing to die. Great. Great thing is Guard's Claws. That gives you defense. Uh, as far as, like, what's better on all these things here, the, um... I think the... The tough and the scale are the better ones. Scale might be a little bit arguably better. Do we name the healers yet? We are just about to do that, buddy. Uh, we can't. You know what? I'm going to take it away from that thing because we're going to get a full all-star bonus here with the class of the black band. Black offense. Yes. Yes. Do that. And he, he doesn't even have a stack yet. We can give him a Thunder Helm. Give him an anti... Well, he can't get petrified, but I think you can get... Can you get Charmed on this guy? I don't think you can. Whatever, we'll give him all purple gear anyways. <laughs> Let's get another purple gear, it'll be fine. Okay. So, you wanted a name, Set 7. Let's give you a name. How about I name you my... My uh, nightmare here, which is named. I gotta move myself out of the way, don't I? Gotta move myself. On hover. <laughs> on dasher, on dancer, on prancer and vixen, on comet, on cupid, on donner and blitzen. I think I, I think I may have said them wrong. But whatever. We're gonna give you this name here. Set seven. Unless you want a different kind of name. Okay, you are there. You're right there. <laughs> Blessings upon you. <laughs> okay. Let's um name this one after Oh crap. Oops. Um I went too far. After carrot. Okay, there you go, Carrot. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> so that's there. Does anybody else want a name of anything at all? Please, please tell me. We will go ahead and do it. And uh, you will get what you ask for. You know? But, um, all right, let's look, at a, let's look at a class. I just want to see what her class is like. She's proficiency two. She's proficiency two. <laughs> Altison, you want to be named after a banana? Uh, where do you find the banana emote? I don't even know where the hell you find that. You must have got that from somewhere. Who's got a banana emote anyway? I've never seen it. Oh, it's not an emote. It's just one of those... It's just the banana. Okay. Uh, well, we don't have any bananas to name you after, Altison, so I'm afraid you're just going to have to deal with it. We've got a power potion here. Ooh, that'd be perfect. Let's do power potions for little Rubino here. Make him just a little tiny bit stronger. All right, cool. Got that going there. All right, that team's pretty well set. I I'd like to... Um, Send out the, um, can you get a serpent? Yeah, sure, hero. Yeah, sure. Uh, we shall do that. 
We shall do that. You shall have a serpent named. How about this? The Silva 17. That could be a good one. Gaia Worm. That's a that's an interesting name. I'm surprised they actually put some good names in here. Usually they're all kind of wonky and weird, you know. They're, they're like Lizverm, blah, 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 something, something, you know. They don't really make any sense. All right. Uh, like how you have it, or should I just write nice hero or hero, or nice or or what was that set seven? What are you what are you doing? Oh. With the fist up? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, I I don't know how you want me to write this here. <laughs> the same way you got it? I could. Or I could just do like number one. I'm just gonna do just gonna do this here a little bit easier. Just do hero? Okay, we'll just do that then. Or hero with the with the three. Okay, we'll make you all caps because you know, that's that's how I play my games. Everybody's like why are you doing all caps? Because I like all caps. <laughs> I grew up, I grew up with games that you could only put all caps in. That's what I got used to, and it just looks better that way. You know, I mean that's that's how they do stuff on your credit cards too. Your whole credit cards, your whole names in all caps, right? On your credit card, the whole names all caps. That's what we got used to growing up, at least for me. You know. Might as well keep things the way that they've always been, right? Not change things now. So when I go into some, like I went, I went in Hill Home Stream, and I was like typing in there because I'm like, if I do Discord or some other stuff, sometimes I just I have the cap stuff set on. And he's like, "Stop typing in all caps!" I'm like, <laughs> 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 I already had it set. <laughs> I'm just doing it. It just happens this way. I'm not angry. I'm just, I'm just typing. That's all I'm doing. I'm not angry at all. <laughs> I think there's too many people that, that if if I was serious about something or I had to say something I'll put extra exclamation marks on there and like quotation it and stuff and be like look at this look at this exclamation mark times two you know that then you know I'm serious about something other than that caps don't really mean much to me you know we're engineering students yeah yeah might as well all right, so we got, we got that. What is this build? Looks so weird. I know it looks really weird. Well, we've got Rubino is kind of he's kind of a tank. He's a magician. Rubino's a little bit. Once you get him like really high, he he's seriously strong. He can handle the front lines. He can do magic. This guy is. OP in the front lines. He's a full-on tank. We've got all these tanks here. And we got her for Thunderbolt attacks, because she has she's been through the menstrual class for a bit. And she's got heals. And we got this guy to Necro Rebirth, whatever we kill. And this one for Frost, this one for Holy Wars, this one for heals. And I was going to put in some Boyverns in here, but then I had a Revival Stone, so I got back my Thunder Dragon there. But, honestly... Also, set, I was having, we're set seven and I are having fun getting a bunch of healers. <laughs> so, so if Urbino's in danger and the AI's like throwing him out in the front lines, we have plenty of heals to keep him alive, right? You know, Zenny's is nightmare fuel. Yeah, I'm just saying, we, we got a we very tank heavy team here. He's going to do some magic spells. He'll be in the front line doing frost spells over here and over here and over here. And all these other healers will be right behind him and be like, we're keeping you alive, bro. You know? And then this whole team's gonna probably swing around and attack every which way possible. And then this team will be right behind for any extra backup or whatever. But we got we we are definitely oversaturated with heals. <laughs> which means that we probably won't lose any monsters going forward with this team. <laughs> which is nice, you know. But then again, you never know. Never bothered to name your monsters. I name my I usually do name a, a lot of my monsters. Um, for fun, you know, but 
All right, so we got one leader down here. Who do we have for, for questing? We got one thing here. We need one extra knight, so I need one extra. I need a filler knight to come over here and, and play some defense. I think Jack is going to be the dude. Yeah, Jack's going to be the dude. Jack will come over here. So I like to try to keep a filler knight once in a while, so in case my guys go down, I don't have to reorganize. I just put another knight over there, and so if they want to come and attack me, I've got three knights ready to go, ready to rock and roll. That's one good way to play, um, you know, as far as playing the game goes. Uh, we've got two questers here. Can't do a whole lot with them. Uh, we're probably going to have to attack over here next turn and then over here. You know, just to divvy up this defense, you know, break this whole thing down. Because this is what we're looking at right now. We got two teams. We can't move out with this team here. This team here is kind of stuck because, you know, the archer got itself killed going into battle. So we got to play some defense. But when the turn comes around to do something, we're probably going to have it come over here, attack this base, and then come back to position. While this one comes over here like this and then comes over here like this and then goes down to this castle and then we then we basically just run around and work out this inside area and at some point we're either going to go around this way or go around this way but likely we're going to go around this way to round this off and finish it off but i'm just using two teams if i was to use four teams we could get this done so much quicker but i'm trying to also level them up before the end so i don't have to do uh, phantasm fights because I could do some phantasm fights but just easier just to level them up like this be done and then fight the boss you know I've already beaten all the phantasm fights before and yes they're tough but I I, I don't want to lose monsters on this on this LP here uh, never yeah no, I'm just kind of wanting to do it just for organization yeah you could do it for organization it's totally fun to do only name the ones that are actually beasts. Yeah, I, I try naming them all, all different kinds of things. Usually for my, my little hairy fairies, I name them, if I have two of them, uh, you know, usually one of them is uh, Thing 1 and Thing 2, you know, stuff like that. But um, let's see what we got to do here. We, we probably have some class-ups here. Here we got that, we got that, we got 15, we got 20 points to work with. We only have 20 points to work with. Can we do that? I can't... I can't see a way around. Not not with this. I, I can't see a way to, to class them up. I'd have to move everything around. And I kind of like having a healer on every team. And the way it's set up like this is pretty good. Because she had a couple heals. She just... She didn't get the she didn't get to get a heal from that. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I'm trying to think of a way to organize this to flip it around because we got fifteen and we got five on uh, Theodora's team here. It gives us twenty points. If I put him down there, then. We won't make we won't be able to handle enough for there. I could put this down there, but then it's the same value. Or pretty much, I can't really do anything with that. All right, so she is level thirty, proficiency five. Not much else we can do with that. She's gonna be archer till we get her up to whatever she needs to be. Really, the team is set. I can't I can't do anything else with that. Okay, just make sure this team is ready to go, and then we'll go out and do another attack here. We got 30, got 30 points there. We could probably... Yeah, I can't... I mean, that kind of works. That's too much. Trying to think of a way we could get another another healer on our team. <laughs> Almost can. Alright, I think maybe the Phoenix should be there because it'll actually go pretty far. It's 35 points. Two of these would be too much. 
That's too much. All right. You know, I think we'll get an elemental out of this. Yeah, let's get an elemental right there. Nope, it's an okay one. Not the greatest, but whatever. Okay, this will be a nice little distraction for us. We're fighting Rudo again, because you know he kills things very easily. Hopefully he'll just go and kill that thing. Alright, so I've got the two teams set up. This other team here, we're looking at a very high power score here. I almost wonder if I should flip-flop these teams here. But I think this team could do okay. Although she is, like, very, very strong right now. Wow, she's put, like... Stella's putting, like, all her back into it right here. Oh, my gosh. We got a Titan. We got a Do. We got Ginny. We got a very powerful team incoming here. Maybe we have to flip. I kind of have what it takes to, to do it here. Wait, she's level 22 Rogue? We didn't even get her up past that, that point there. Got a Paladin there. We got Vikings incoming. I don't have a lot of green on defense here. Just him. Just him that might be a little bit weak to this. No, I could probably handle the defense, honestly, I think. I think I can. We'll just wait here for now. It'll be fine. Alright, let's push the season. Alright, we can only attack with one team. Looks like this team's going to actually come try their luck on my archer team. I don't know what's going to happen there, but uh, we have to close up the situation here. we got to close up this thing, so it's kind of nice. I should have I should put Aleandra somewhere. I was I was kind of thinking about it, kind of distracted. I'm going to put him over here next turn. We're going to go get that stuff. And then if we have to play defense, we have to play defense, but uh, whatever. So we're going to go here, then we're going to go here, and you kind of saw the strategy, so let's go save it up here. All right. All right, so as you can see, hard. I don't know if a lot of other players are playing this on hard or give themselves challenges, or in the future I'll be asking for people to give me challenges for this game. Um, I don't know if there's anybody else that even does this, but I typically play it on hard, and uh, I try to make it interesting. <laughs> All right, so save over there. And this one's custom hard mode. The other ones didn't have customs to it, so that's why they don't, <laughs> that's why you don't see custom next to it. But the custom hard mode is, it's it's fun. They, they introduce some of that custom stuff in there. It's pretty cool. All right. <sighs> And we're going to just totally ruin this team. Completely. <laughs> They're just gonna run. They're just gonna run, guys. They're just gonna run, everybody. What are we gonna what are we gonna do? We're just gonna watch them run away all day. Ah, just put them all in. Don't worry about order. He's actually talking to Kratos. Oji, <laughs> Yeah, if you're not sure about this game, you don't know what kind of difficulty you want to play, and you have not played any strategy games before, I do recommend playing on easy. But if you played enough strategy games and you're good at chess, at least try it on normal to start. But if you want to go hard, go for it. Because it's, it's a good learning tool. You, even if you lose some battles, you'll learn some valuable lessons with it. And that's how this game works, and that's how a lot of games work. You learn you learn, you learn, learn lessons in life with a lot of things. And even in chess, when I played a lot of chess and I lost 
certain chess mas matches, I learned a lot as to what not to do <laughs> and, you know, why. And so, yeah, that's just how it is. You gotta, it, it, this is, this is really a, a game where you're learning strategy, you're learning numbers, you're learning math, you're learning flanking skills, a lot of tactical situations, strategy overall. It's a, this is a great game for learning a lot of stuff. It really is. It's an absolutely great game. Now, as far as the story and all that goes, some people are back and forth with whether there could be more story or not. I kind of think there could be a little more in-depth to some of the story as far as characters go. I kind of agree with that. I actually do. I think the story is alright. I think it's decent. But could it have more in-depth stuff to it? Absolutely, yes. I think with the with the banter back and forth between some of the other knights that don't really know each other, I think Grand Edition has a little more of that than this game does. Which is why Grand Edition still is one of my top favorite games of all time. Because another part of the another part of the reason why I like this one, so, uh, you know, Grant. Um, Brigandine a lot in comparison to like Final Fantasies and stuff like that. Final Fantasy has a great story and all that, but it's all very linear. Here, you can go to any castle you want to. You can just take over their whole com their whole command center and start off from their base and go back to reconquer yours. It's like you you can take any any strategic way you want in battle. It's free. You, you have complete freedom to do what you want. That's one thing I really like about about this in particular is that the, uh, the the ways of which you could do battle are, are more freeing, you know? Okay, take over turn five. We lost the little elemental guy. He kind of went kaput. And, uh, and yeah. <laughs> okay, what, what can we get away with killing before they run? Because... I'm surprised they even freaking stayed there. Are you seriously gonna stay? I'm really surprised. That's nuts. Okay, we got Rubino to go next. So what should we do with Rubino though? Get him a nice juicy kill here. Probably. What do you got a regain on? Okay, I got ideas here. So here's the thing, like you got a big guy who doesn't have a lot of accuracy. It's it's better to try to have him fight something that he can fight. Instead of have something he's probably gonna miss. He could hit it, but he's got a 63% chance. It's not as good as 99% chance. So if you miss with a 99% chance and you throw your controller, I totally agree. But I wouldn't recommend it, because <laughs> you can break it. <laughs> there have been... I'll tell you right now, uh, Solomon, if you're still hanging around. Anybody else is here, you can tell me your chances here. But of all the time I've played this game, three times in my life, I have missed a 99% chance in this game. You can miss with 99% chance. It has happened. And I did throw my controller one time with that. I was like, that's not... No, you know, because it, it was like the... It, it's exactly what I needed to do. You know, the winning move and all that. Totally, totally missed. But yeah, this game, this game as far as the percentages goes, I one of the one of the better games out there. A lot of a lot of games you're like I had a 90 95% chance most of the game and I missed like four or five times, you know? One percent for failure, yeah. You, it can happen, you know? It can totally, totally happen. But it's only I've only missed three times with that. Ah crap, I'm gonna kill him right now, aren't I? What can I do to not kill him? Maybe I'll go kill the other thing instead. We're gonna weaken that one and I'm gonna go kill the other one with Rubino. I am surprised they're even staying here. This is nuts. Weakness. Push that thing away a little bit. So sometimes another great tool 
is having nightmares, even in Nightmares and Grand Edition, they do a kickback. So they'll kick you a space back. You can actually play with that as far as like, oh, I want you over here instead. You know, you kick him away. This could be a very useful tool. Okay, so we got 100% there. Kill, 300 points of damage. And another thing about this game, what you want to do, if you're new to this game or whatever, you want to get your leader's kill shots more than your monsters. And I'll it's just because it takes so much longer to level up the leaders, and if the leader goes up, he has more rune control to be able to hold more monsters or monsters at higher levels. So you basically, for the most part, want to level up your leader. Like, okay, if you got a level 19 red dragon, you you know, or whatever you want to, you know, get, or a level 9 dragon you want to turn into, like, a higher dragon or something like that. Sure, do that, but try to focus on getting leaders levels up. Because they have the longer way to grow than monsters do. Monsters level up so much faster. They just really do. Should I just take her down right now? I'm thinking maybe I should. That's only a level 2 angel. Not, it's, uh, it's not a big threat. And I, one thing I love to do here is I like to kill off monsters that are like very strong. Because unless they have a rev revival stone, they just don't come back, you know? And then you don't have to deal with that in the future, you know? If you've gotten a, shi a shiny in Pokemon, you have to expect to get that 1% failure at some point, too. I bet. I bet. And I didn't even grow up with Pokemon, but I had a lot of friends tell me all about it, you know? And uh, I think in Pokemon, this is, this is more devastating if you lose a monster. But here, most of these monsters are like... you got to think of them... you got to think of them more like chess pieces than... than uh, careful things you grow an attachment to. You you will get attached to some of these things, but you know, it's it's more of a it's it's one of those things. It's more just think about it more like chess. You know, you want to keep the monsters alive, but sometimes you have to sacrifice the monster to get the win. Sometimes you gotta do it. And there's plenty of times that I've had to do it. It sucks, but then you get the win. And uh you get to take the castle, move on forward, and getting the win also promotes the rest of the team. So you can get, so you might lose one, let's say you lose a phoenix, and you get everybody a whole lot of levels up, and you get three other monsters that are, are classed up. So the phoenix died to help you get a, three other monsters classed up. You know, that can happen. Mina, but yeah, you have to really take this game more like a chess perspective than uh, trying to hang on to the monsters and stuff. This game's more forgiving than Grand Edition, as far as that goes, because you can get a Revival Stone and get that monster back the same level it was when it died, which is like, okay, it's not that big of a deal if they... It's not that big of a deal here if they die, because you just get a Revival Stone and be like, yes, I got my favorite, I got my favorite monster back. You know, no biggie. In Grand Edition, though, and in the Legend of Forcina, you kind of need to start all over. <laughs> you kind of need to start from scratch. You know? You know it's true. <laughs> you know it's true. Uh, some of these new games, I have such forgiveness for things, too. You know, I'm used to the whole Grand Edition thing with, the, you know, it dies, it dies, sorry, but, you know, got to start over. Okay, we got uh, we got a seven stars cutlass. Yes, thunderous gem. Nice monster is found. Okay, I want to see if I want to equip this. I don't know if I want to equip this yet, but I might. Oh, you know what? This actually does charm, but having more blue has my attack be a little bit stronger, as according to some other people telling me that, but my attack is stronger with the seven stars, and it can inflict charm, which actually would come in handy against Rudo. Actually, it wouldn't really work on him, but if there was a monster that came attack me, or Kyla came attack me, I could randomly charm them. So I kind of want to do that. I 
kind of do. We did lose one monster. Let's see if we can um, do something about that. I got 45 there. Let's see what we can get here. Summon. What kind of team do we have here? We need a little bit of squish, but we need this thing here. And I think I'm going to take a little zombie dude. That'll be a good distraction point, too. That one really sucks. Let's go try to get a different one. And we get a miracle right away. Wow. Wowee. Look at that. I'm like, nope, I'm not taking a sucky one. I've got too much MP for that. I don't need that. So the other thing is getting mana miracles is a great thing. Even though it's just level one, probably gonna die anyways. Still has a little better stats. Might help survive a little longer in a battlefield. Stamp a platinum! <laughs> we kinda need that, didn't we? I'm just gonna leave this stuff just sit. I don't even I'm not even gonna put it somewhere. Yeah, we need to send Aleandro out, out over to or can we quest here for the same thing for Alejandro? Ruins of Narm. Oh, we could do something different here. I don't really go for Narm too much. But maybe we could get some light gear for her because then she could maybe do some of the fights here. So I'll send Alejandro well, that way. I really hope we can get a win with this team here because I hope the leaders don't go out and... Uh, get themselves into too big of a scuffle too big of a frontline fight that's that's not, that's gonna suck and I hope that Rudo doesn't kill my dark dragon in one shot because you know that clean military rule is a whole bunch of white dots Okay. Yeah, I think we're good to go, everybody. I think we're good to go. Let's push it. Seventeen hundred. Okay, so we got a pretty decent force in coming here. You see someone hit a 0% shot in XCOM? Oh, I've never seen anything like that. This game you can actually attack somebody you could get 0% on them. Like, like Della or Toby in the forest in the Shinobi area. And I've let the AI play against them, and they'll still constantly throw rocks at them, even with 0% chance. I'm like, are you kidding me? Why don't you move forward with your with your Iron Golem and, and do an attack? But the AI seems set on throwing stuff at you, even if they have no percentage to hit you. Even with this game, I was like, wow, that's, that's, a, bit, that's a bit nuts. All right, so we're going to take over these two spaces here, and then one team's going to move down, one team's going to move back, and the other one's going to go boom, boom, boom. The other team's gonna come in and we're gonna kinda like do this. Both teams are gonna kinda like twist around each other, take out the middle, and then we're gonna start working a little bit south that way, so. All right, we'll shave her up again real fast here. All right, let's see what time it is because we could probably play some Grand Edition soon. I don't know what the time is. All right, we're. We're at two hours here. Let's do one more battle, and we'll save it up at the end of the battle, okay? So, and then we're going to do our Knights of Trigaria thing with Grand Edition. So if you're a sub, 
You can uh, make or break alliances and all kinds of crazy things. I think it's already set in the chat, and if you read what it was in the chat, you'll know. But uh, if you want an explanation, we'll get to that later. But um, that'll be a fun night. All right. Percentages of the old XCOM are based on how far the bullet could go from where it was aimed. So A0 is maximum deviation, but it can still hit. Wow, that's nuts. That is nuts. All right, we're going to take on Morelva now. They've got some good stuff. Look at what they've got. They've got a Simurg. They've got... They got a couple angels, got a dark, they got a dark dragon, I got a quaddle, got a hairy, a pink hairy fairy, and they got Umamaro, the rune god. This guy is one of the best guys in the game. Take him for your alternate chapter play mode. You won't regret it. He can handle clean military rule, even though he is a dark element. I put him in the front line. He is a tank tank, not a glass tank. Not a would-be tank, an actual tank. And he shoots a cannon shot out of his head with like magic bullets or like a magic a magic shot from its skull. Like Umamaro is the rune god of this game. He is that powerful. <laughs> he is so good. You just gotta remember, every time he does anything, it costs some MP, so he's gotta do a recharge every once in a while. Because he's he's a robot, right? Um all right, uh, Shu Fen, you can lead this one here. Rubino, you kind of stay in the back there. Stay in the back for a little bit. Ooh, they have some dialogue here. All right, I'm going to go get a drink real fast, and I'll be back.私の名をご存知とは。見える場随一の魔法使いと聞いている。そして白学確かでもある。あなたのその力、ノーザリオで正義のために使いませんか。光栄です、王子。でも見れる場も海賊も結構いいものなんですよ。All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh. oh, and who plays a game like this? I kind of want to know who plays <laughs> who plays a game top down. I, I don't think I could. I don't think I could see from that. I mean, I kind of can see that, like, I could understand that, but, yeah, I, I don't know. In the old game, people, a lot of people played the, played this top down. What? This is a Stella. So, cheers. Salute! 
Okay, we're already turn three. No fights have happened yet. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, cheers, everybody. Where's, 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 oh my gosh, dude, you went right out there? Are you, are you crazy? Oh no. Okay, good. He didn't do. He didn't do exit blast. I'm. I'm glad he didn't do that. He charmed the quaddle. He charmed the quaddle. Did you see that? Oh my gosh, Rubino's. Oh, and he charmed him too. Here, we gotta slow this down. All right, cool, man. I'm glad we actually charmed a couple of these things. This could have been a lot more dangerous here. Seriously, look at how low Rubino is. I have to wait till turn five to do anything. So if they don't heal him up, we're screwed. We're screwed if they don't heal him up at all. We have plenty of healers. We have, that's the reason we have all these healers. <laughs> heal him up all the way, please. Please, set seven. Have them focus heal Rubino. Can you... Can you give them that kind of will or something? That, that oh, we need it. Thank you. Okay, he got one. He needs like two more. Oh, we got a kill. Okay, cool. But we we need another heal on him. I like getting those things out of the way. They're kind of powerful. Yes, good job. Good job. Flame attack on on what? Ooh, fancy. Fancy, very nice. Yes, put him there. Oh no! Not Sophie. She's the best mage on the planet. Uh, on this planet of this game, she's the best mage. I think so. Maybe you think so. I think the American public thinks so too. But, uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm about to die, but I'm going to give you my heal. Unicorns being self-sacrificing in this game is so much better than Grand Edition. No self-sacrificing. They just, they'll just, unicorns go front line and they'll heal themselves all day. <laughs> Whoa! 393 with a faint spell on top. You see that? Did you see that? Did you see that, everybody? <laughs> we do need the heals there. Oh man. Oh no, not thunder spells. He's weak to that stuff. Oh, and he's lined up for Umamaro shots too. Oh, that's it for him. Thanks for playing. Sorry, Pluto. Umamaro's lined up for a cannon shot. If you don't know what's coming with Umamaro, be scared. Be scared. If he runs away, you don't have to worry about it. But just saying, it's it's not gonna look very good. Necro Rebirth. You actually did a Necro Rebirth yourself? Oh, they usually don't do that. I don't know. Umara might just run. We'll see. If he doesn't, he's so screwed, though. Like, you. Oh, good. Whew. So, I'd have to describe Umaro's lost Atlantean technology. Because he's an automation. And some of the lore for automation really comes back from Atlanta. Atlantia. It's the ancient city of Atlantis. Alright, so she... cool. Very nicely done. Okay, we got one battle done. How much time do we have here? we have time for another battle, maybe? Where's my, where's my thing here? Yeah, actually, we kind of do have time for another battle. Why don't we do it? Why don't we go have some fun with that? We only, This only took, like, five minutes, I think. Let's go do one more of these here. 
not much really got you know killed off here. We this this team worked out really well. C set seven, you were absolutely right when you when you let the AI fight. You need more healers because <laughs> stamp a platinum. <laughs> that was definitely a platinum there. We didn't lose anything. You know we had that one little squishy golem, right? Right or the the ghoul, the little squishy ghoul. He didn't get killed. That turned out fantastic, actually. I'm a little surprised. I, th I thought that was going to be a little bit worse, but... Okay, now we're against the ruler. The, this is... This is going to be tough. There's, there's three holy words there. I don't know what they're going to shoot at or what they're going to do. There's... I mean, they got two gigases there. They've got a bunch of divine ray. Hopefully we're not in the front line getting divine raid all day. Hopefully... Rudo will clean military rule of my red dragon, or my ancient dragon instead, so it'll survive. You know? Hopefully that'll happen like that. Oh, we'll see. We'll have to see. Okay, she was in the front line last time. I don't think I want her in the front this time. I think we'll go... I think we'll go with, uh, we'll, we'll try Theodora, put Yuri on the top, and Alina will be right here, this looks, that looks good, that looks good, good as gold. Today <laughs> The door is a little scary, but she could be a good woman. I don't know. Oh boy, let's see what happens here. I'm a little nervous about. He's actually going to come after us. Well, he might. He's coming off the castle. Okay, so he's putting her there. That why is he put it? Why is she going there? I'll slow it down when we get in the battle, just so you can kind of see a little better. Because I like to speed the game up half the time, but what's going to happen here? Regain on everybody, right? Okay, please don't go right into the front lines. That would suck. Oh my gosh, you did, you did. Well, she can't get divine raid from there, so that's that's still kind of hopefully good there. As long as they don't like come after her too hard, she might maybe survive. Oh. There's a lot of holy words to deal with, though. See? <laughs> That's good. There's a lot of holy words to deal with. Oh no. Miss? You didn't miss, did you? She's got the best agility, and he should have missed her. Now was that? That's how damn powerful that dude, that dude is. Ah, we got a squishy that went down. Squishy died. This is why trying to take over turn five is really tough. This is why. <laughs> This kind of a battle here. I can't control any of it. And then it, she put herself in like a really risky situation too. And everybody else is like hanging back. Ah, uh, my, my, my nightmares are gonna go down, man. I gotta do something about it. Jeez. Just kill everybody off, why don't you? Okay, turn four. So there's this plethora of holy words. It's just that that's the annoying thing too. It's everybody and Yes. 
thousand arrows? Yes, I would do that too. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, take it. Take it all. Yes! Down with the angels. Don't need to see it. Those things are going to get annoying. We're just going to sit there, heal him up all day. I'm going to take out R Rudo if I can. If he comes a little bit closer, he's dead. I'm just going to focus target him all day. If he does, which he is. Oh my gosh, 347. Yes! Yes! You better heal him, he's gonna die. <laughs> he's going to die. He's going down now, he's getting weakness right, a right away. Oh man, wait, it's not my turn yet. I want to put a weakness on him and just kick his butt. I don't even get this. You could have hit. You could have hit him right now. Yes, good hit. Yes, Edemus. Ah, oh, the stupid faint. Crap. Turn five. Give me control. Yes. Okay, we got him totally chained. Oh, you don't kill. Astro, what? What happened? Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. <laughs> Is it my breath? Oh, <laughs> I've been drinking a lot today. Just, yeah, oh. Boy, what you fall down? Astral. Astral. <laughs> thanks, thanks, hero. We needed that, didn't we? Yeah. Wow. To what? He did too much damage there, didn't he? All right, we're gonna pull back to pull back to here. Stand by. Yeah, don't heal him up. Oh my gosh. She is a bit weak right now. Oh, good. Whew. Oh, that was close. That was really close. Let's be honest. Let's be honest with ourselves. That was ridiculously close. <laughs> It was unbelievably close. Drink is Larry something like to pretend I'm drunk. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're gonna weaken Rudo. I know I should heal her. I'll do it with the angel though. But I need to weaken him so he's just a, so much squishier, so much easier to kill. Just kind of have to do it that way. I could stay right next to him and do that, but I can't. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh okay. We'll move back first and we'll do that, then we'll do a heal. Nope, not that. This. Where do I have to go all the way in? Do 
Do I have to go all in? I may have to. Alright, let's look at the chances of what we can do with C team. They might get around, they might kill off this guy, I don't know. Could be the case. She's gonna have to deal with it. We're gonna have to take out yeah, we're gonna have to take him out right now. I don't have a choice anymore, do I? I don't think I do. I gotta keep him trapped. I gotta get him low enough. He's gotta die. I had to do it just so I can keep them trapped too, in case they kill off the nightmare. Which hopefully they don't. If they kill off the nightmare, then I couldn't keep Rudo trapped. He wouldn't be like surrounded with chain effect. As so I want him weakened and I want him chained. <laughs> you did the wrong guy! <laughs> you should have protected Rudo. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> that would have taken away my effect for weakness on him, actually. That would have gave him normal defense at that point. But you didn't understand that, did you? Did you now? No, you didn't. You really didn't care. Whatever. Alright, what are we at? Level 30? She's at level 30. Let's see if we get a kill at this guy here. Yes, we can. And that was 3,000 points right there. That was nice. Bless him. Sometimes it comes down to that, and that's another way to win too. Things could get in a hairy situation. If I had full control over that, I wouldn't have put my archers out that far, like it was, and got her killed, as you know. But sometimes you get in those situations where you're just like, the ruler is right in my face, and if you don't take care of that ruler, it it could come and cut down some more of your stuff. So sometimes the ruler. Or big guys right in your face, you kind of have to deal with the problem at hand, you know? Um, sometimes you might be able to kill off other stuff, but Rudo is pretty strong, you know? If I kill him off now... If I didn't kill him off at that point, he would have probably killed off most of my monsters, and that would have been that. I wouldn't have been able to get the win. I had to go for leader kill at that point. Um, they got one Nightmare... We didn't really get much on this team. We didn't really get the angels. I was hoping to snipe out some angels. We didn't really get to do that. But we did get the win here. We're going to move back. Position. Um, there's another attack here, though. So <laughs> I guess we're going to start this fight up next. We're going to start this fight up next week. We'll, we'll be on this battle here. But I'm going to go ahead and call it uh, for this one here. Still going to play the same way. Take over turn 5 and all that. They do have a pretty good power score. We'll see what we can do. Um, as far as who should be on a castle, I think Pick is the best one for it. Honestly. I know he's flying and all that, but he's very squishy. He kind of needs an extra heal every once in a while. Oh. <laughs> Hey everybody, cheers! We'll, uh, we'll play this on Monday, but we're going to do some uh, Nice of Shigaria with, with Grand Edition here after this, so the stream will go down for like a second or two and then just reload it if we don't see anything, and we'll be on Grand Edition, so... I do have to cut the stream a little bit, otherwise I, I gotta do too much editing, it takes too much time.
for me to try to edit it on YouTube, it literally takes like three hours for them to cut out a section. It's just like, wow, that's that's much. <laughs> so, all right, let's save it here. But if you do want to see more of this, come by on Monday night at uh, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Whatever the time that is for you, it's probably 9 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're Eastern Time, a lot of people seem to be Eastern Time here. But uh, we will come back at that point and pick up on this battle here and play from there. But if you want to see more, more <laughs> Brigandine... Just hang out for a second. Well, we're going to pause the stream. The stream will go down for a second and come right back up. We're going to play some Grand Edition here. What's the difference between the two editions, Grand Edition and Legend of Forcina? Well, Grand Edition is Legend of Forcina with cutscenes, and you get to fight the Bull Nile fight with the Stank of Chaos when you play the normal LP. Everything's pretty much the same. It's basically what, what we would particularly call... Uh, if we would have called it this now, Legend of Forcina would have been a beta game, and the Grand Edition would have been a final game, because it came out two or three years after, but it had everything else in it. They changed a couple things, but really not much changed. Most of the dialogue is pretty much the same, and you get cutscenes, and you actually get an ending to fight the Bull Nile fight and a Snake of Chaos. So I would have to say Legend of Forcina is more of a beta game. And the Grand Edition is the final version of the game. It just kind of makes sense that way. Uh, but, you know, people could agree to disagree, I suppose. But that's that's my understanding of it. But way back in the day, it was just known as, you know, the Grand Edition version of the game. <laughs> instead of, you know, uh, 1. 1. 1.2 or something like that or whatever. But, uh... alright, so everybody on YouTube... You know, do what you got to do. Give me some likes and all that. Definitely give some likes. It does help the algorithm. It does help the, uh, the channel grow and uh, me to be able to put out this kind of content a little bit easier. And it'd be great too um, if you enjoy the if you enjoy the content that is. But um, other than that, YouTube, I will see you in the next LP of those on Twitch. Just hang out for. It's probably gonna take me about five minutes or five minutes or less to switch this around. But you might have to reload the the screen there so I'll see you in a minute twitch <laughs>